What's up, Stallions, and welcome to episode two of the Stallion Pride Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Ward, and behind the camera is, of course, my co-host, Anthony Zagunas. We're at the Stallions versus Cardinals football game. The score is 28-7, to and Stallions are about to win the football game. Stallions just won the football game! Stallions just won the football game! All right, guys, obviously there's a lot of energy in the air right now. It's a big CCL win against, the, against St. Charles. How does it feel to stick it to the birds, huh? Finally feels good to win after a tough loss last week, but we really stuck it to them, really kept them quiet. You know, it was a great dominant win, great team win. Love all my boys. Way to get out there. You know, it was a physical game. People were beat up. People were dealing with injuries. Last week, we got into this situation, had a couple of turnovers on special teams, and we kind of got in that situation again towards the end of the second half. But, you know, been there before, so we know how to take care of it and move on and positive vibes in the locker room and come out yeah, here. and some good dances in the locker room. It's going to be a great time. Congratulations, boys. It was a great, hey, thank you. great thank win. You, thank you. Great win. Great CCL hey, win. Down. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. All right, guys. Avery and JB, you both got touchdowns. Avery, you got an interception. Just tell me how it feels. You know, you know how does that feel to get both an interception and a touchdown for, uh, against St. Charles? We started with the uh, interception. That was actually my first career interception. Back in coverage, you know, deep safety. Saw that ball in the air. Just had to get it. And with that touchdown, it's my first touchdown against St. Charles. It was great. It was great. Just blessed. And Jonathan Brown, tell me, you know, tell me how it feels. You know, walk, walk us through it a little bit. The line blocked great that play and saw the hole, hit the hole, and scored. So, proud of my boys up front. Yep. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the win, boys. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You, What's going on, Stallion Pride Podcast? I'm here with freshman quarterback RJ Day. RJ, you know, after last week, I feel like the team was able to learn some lessons from the game. What are some things you guys were able to put together tonight and able to, uh, in order to get the first CCL win? Uh, I mean, I think their game plan was to try to keep us from throwing the ball. I think they tried to do whatever they could just to keep it in front of us. They came out in too high, and they kind of stayed in that most of the game. And too high is to basically make you run the ball. So we did a good job up front. I credit all the linemen and the running backs for doing a great job. Really, all credit to them tonight because I didn't, I didn't throw the ball a lot. It was all up front. All right. Appreciate your time. Go Stallions. What's going on, Stallion Pride Podcast? I'm here with some of the seniors from the cheer squad. You guys did a great job tonight, you know, away game. You guys were able to provide energy to the student section. You know, how does it feel to be able to face that adversity in an away game and be able to provide the energy to the student section? You know, I think it's really about us coming together as a team. A lot of us have been training together for a really long time, so it's just about coming together and having a positive attitude all together because it's what we love to do yeah. on a Friday. So yeah. I think it's honestly a privilege for us to be able to help cheer on, not even just like our student section, but like our parents and our fans, and just like be the face of just SFD. Go Stallions! <laughs> Go Stallions! You heard it here first. And we're back. It was a great game to watch. Great win. Great CCL win. You know, CCL, I kind of think it's like, I don't know if any, you, know, you watch the NFL, but it's kind of like the AFC North. It's always just yeah. ugly, rough, just like a lot getting of it done. Tension, a lot great of games. You know, there's not a lot of passing, high fly. It's, it's about what gets done in the trenches. Yeah. It's, you know, hard fought, you know, black Air Force energy, if you will. You yeah. Know, that's something they all embraced and I think that's something the CCL embraces as well yeah you know it was uh, yeah like you could just feel it, it's the, the tension is palpable in the air but between mm -hmm. the student sections I know our student section Anthony and I were in there we knocked over that gate yeah I, I mean big that, energy that happened the cheerleaders did a did a great job we got some interviews with them mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to get interviews with the band but as soon as the game was over they were out of there. They were out. We tried. We, we ran. ran across the field to go get interviews. With yeah. Them, but they were already gone. So uh, if you're in the band and you're listening, we want to see you next game. Yeah, we would. We really would. It's a big part of Football Friday Night. I mean, the band and the cheerleaders, you know, they're what gets the energy going. It's, it's they're a the, part they're, of the atmosphere. They're the pride of the Stallions. Exactly. You know, we've got the football team, but what brings that extra yeah. emphasis is the cheer squad just, and the band. Yeah, it's just a whole part of the a part of the atmosphere. Yeah. But yeah, it was a great game. About, about the interviews, you know, I loved hearing from RJ, his insight um, about them playing a cover too high, uh, yeah. trying to force us inside, take away the passing game, and they, th they make us one-dimensional, but that one dimension is pretty good. It really shows how overall as a team you can take certain aspects of us away, but, you know, we're, we're pretty complete, and um, we're going out there to play a game and win. Yeah, exactly. Avery had a, had a great game. He had a yeah. I think, interception, interception, touchdown, and a touchdown. First career interception, first St. Charles touchdown for the man. Shout out to him. Yeah. He played a great game. It was a great game. Cheer squad, I like getting their insight. You know, well, you great know they team. just bring the energy. Coming over yeah. to the student section, they get everyone riled up. It's mm -hmm. really like it gets everyone involved into the game. Yeah. And especially with this game, St. Charles doesn't have cheerleaders. Big, big one up. And who came out on top? The ones with the cheerleaders. The ones with the cheerleaders. All right, now. Yeah, so, I mean, that's all I really have to say about football. There is the question, though. Is it football or is it football? I think football, you know. It's called football because you, you do so much with your foot in football. You know what I'm saying? Kickoff, 
field goals, extra points. See, but whenever you think of football, do you think of playing with your feet? No, you think of soccer. No. I just don't understand. Listen, I'm all for calling football football. I just don't understand why it's called football. You know, I would. Yeah, you, you start, you use your feet. But whenever you think of football, you think of hits. You, you think do. of touchdowns. You think of touch. You, listen, you think you, of touchdowns. You touchdown. think of football. You, think you think of, of running the ball. Yeah. Run, do a lot of running with your feet. Football. Yeah, okay. But that's foot. <laughs> it's called football. That implies foot to ball contact. Well, can we go down that route? Adam Vinatieri, all time leading scorer for the NFL, kicker, kicks the ball with his foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he really the all time leading scorer? Yeah, he, Adam Vinatieri is the uh, most kicker for the Colts all time. You know, played with Peyton Manning and them. Um, so he holds the most points. Most ever. points scored ever by an NFL player Are done you by a serious? kicker. Swear. Okay, okay. Just, just let me ask you something, right? Yeah. If you made the game of football, like if you've made the sport, you wrote the rules, mm -hmm. are you, at, by the end of it, are you going, oh, yeah, let's call this football? you got a fair point there. I, I don't know what I would call it, but it's definitely not football. It is nice that it is, to, I mean, it is the football season, though. Fall is, fall is in the air. Fall is in the air. You know, it's undeniable. Can't really tell right now. The trees are still green. Yeah, give it a couple. In the courtyard, yeah. and it's also slightly raining. But fall is in the air. It's undeniable. Yeah, we've made it. We have made it. It's officially fall. Personally, I like summer. That's my favorite season. I think. What, what's your favorite season? My, mine's summer. You know, I am biased. My birthday's in the summer. Okay. Summer break. Yeah. I love the summer. But fall's a close second. Interestingly enough, my birthday's in the winter to January 1st. Hate the winter. Hate it. Only two good things about the winter, Christmas and my birthday. You know yeah, anything? once you're past the holiday season. It's horrible. There's a lot less joy in the It's air. horrible. I hate, like, not seeing the blue sky. That's the fair. Well, yeah, back to fall because that's what that's what it is right now. We actually have prepared a, a fall things draft. Yeah, you know, if you know me and Adam, one thing we love to do is draft. You we know? love those drafts. Drafts are always so fun. If you're unfamiliar with the draft, you know, you pick a topic. This topic is going to be fall things. So Anthony and I will go back and forth listing the best things about fall. Fair. Fair. And uh, we just by the end of it, who has the better list? of things. I have mine on the back of here. We each get seven picks. Would you like uh, to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. We, let's do rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, a little ramshambo. I will clarify once if he picks something, like let's say he says orange leaves, I can't pick orange leaves. Yeah, once it's picked, it's off the board. Yeah. All right, ramshambo. What is ramshambo? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Is Pick, that not what I did? You did rock, paper, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, okay. All right, I'll go first. Now, my first pick, I feel like it's it's a big pick. So you let me know if this is fair. Okay. But in my opinion, it's fair. Halloween. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like, that's, you that's know, a fall thing. It's you a fall thing. You can't say fall I, without I thinking about Halloween. I cannot say it's not a fall thing, but out of all the fall things, Halloween is not something I'm taking 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay. Interesting. What yeah. are you taking? You got to go football. That was my number I'm two. I'm going to go football. It was my number you know. two. It was my it's number just, two. It takes up the whole week. Friday, you got high school. Yeah. You know, yeah. Thursday, it's fair. Thursday night football, Friday. Then you go Saturday college, Sunday and Monday. You got the NFL. You only got that. You only got that Tuesday and Wednesday off. And it's nice to be able to kick back on the couch, put your feet up, watch some football. Yeah, nothing better. It is nice. I do know you're much more of a football person than I am. Huge football guy. Huge football guy. You can talk ball with anyone. Now Love that I've game. been sitting here thinking about it, the Halloween picks, grown on me more. What's fall without Halloween? But football so i mean i'm just going down my same route thanksgiving that's a great pick i mean i've two. taken both holidays now so. yeah um people think the gap between christmas and and um thanksgiving is like here and here yeah. i'd argue it's here I, I i almost want to say thanksgiving over christmas i won't but thanksgiving is such an amazing holiday it's i neck think and the neck. gap i don't see it here i don't see it here i see it more like here yeah right i'm just i'm a huge thanksgiving guy chowing down on some food mm. With my fourth overall pick, you know it's fall when when the pumpkin spice flavors start rolling <laughs> around. Oh, baby. Those pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice frosties, pumpkin spice everything pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin everything flavoring, pumpkin spice. I'm going pumpkin spice flavor. Okay, let me know if it is, I see. I I think this is a fair pick, but my uh, my fourth pick was pumpkin pie. Just pumpkin, pumpkin pie. You can go pumpkin pie. Yeah, I just want to go pumpkin that's, pie. That's I very love different than pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pies. I will follow up the pumpkin pie pick with another. Classic fall pie, the apple pie. The apple pie. The yep. apple pie is a very good pie. Classic American apple pie. Would you have picked pumpkin pie over? I would have picked. Pie? I would have picked pumpkin first. Yeah. Apples close. Um, an underrated pie that's had at Thanksgiving. I'm just gonna be frank. I'm not drafting it. Yeah. But pecan pie. I'm not a big fan of pecan pie. I love pecan pie. pie. So many good pies. There's in the so fall. many good pies. So many good pies. Next pick, your your fourth pick. <sighs> Scary movies. Good one. Scary movies. Scary Falls movies under the Halloween. Halloween. Oh, you know, I'm a, yeah. I'm a big movie guy. Yeah. I'm not a big scary movie guy, but 
whenever it gets this 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 season, every weekend, you gotta feel it. throw on something new, yeah. throw on a scary movie you haven't seen before. Get a couple friends together, mm-hmm. cuddle each other a little bit. Hey now. Hey. Hey. Um, things get scary. My next pick. There's so many good ones. I think I'm just gonna have to go with the weather. Weather. Cool, crisp air. It's nice to go outside. You can, you know. But can I t- can I make a new pick? Can we just scratch that? <laughs> I literally have my, I have, it's my first thing written on here. Yeah, go all for right, it. All right, all right. You know, with my next pick. You don't have to act like, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in. <laughs> it's fine. Just what's your next pick? With my next pick, I'm taking sweatshirts. That was, yeah. That sweatshirts, was, you know, it's, it's cool. That was out. my next. Walk man, we have a very again. similar pick. I love sweatshirts. Man. Going back to your weather thing, I was actually surprised that you said, said that. We're not going to act like that didn't happen, all right? We're leaving it in that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> but we both like summer, so why would you pick the weather when obviously summer it's, is... It's a nice refresher. It is nice. I would rather sweat. I would rather be drenched in sweat than a little bit cold. See, I'm, I'm a sweaty guy. I can't. You are a pretty sweaty guy. Yeah. Sweatshirts are my next pick. That is good. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready for this. Crunchy leaves. Remember whenever you were little, right? Mm-hmm. And you would be riding your bike down the road or on the sidewalk in the fall, and there would be that buildup of leaves along the curb, yeah. or like along the edge of the grass. I could always spot which ones were crunchy and which ones weren't, and I would just run right through them and you hear that. Yeah, I do like crunchy crunch leaves. My next pick, I'm, I, there, there's a lot of things on my big board right here that I like, but the one I think I like the most at this time is a nice bonfire. Personally me, I've never experienced a fall bonfire. It's always been summer. Wow. I will say I've had plenty. I would love to. In my backyard. and Let's let, have like, one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Me and you, Bonfire. It's your pick. How, what pick is this? Let's do two more picks each. Uh, let's do one more pick. Let's do one final pick each. Okay. Okay, I see my next pick, but I'm almost disagreeing with it right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Halloween music. Do you think that was a bad Ooh, pick? You know, an inside joke between me and Adam is when we do the drafts, Michael Dean Walker always has terrible picks, and that's a Michael Dean Walker pick. You think that's a Michael Dean Walker that's pick? That's a Mike pick. It's a mic pick. That's a mic pick. But think right. about it. Think about it. Uh, Monster, Ma- Monster Mash. Monster Mash. This uh, is Halloween. I mean. Purple People Eater. Uh, he's a one night, one ear, flying purple people eater. Don't know that one? Nope. Thriller. You know Thriller? Thriller. Okay, yeah. Michael Jackson. That's yep. pretty, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, if all I were right. to play I that for you right, right now. Right. It's, a, it's a decent pick. It's not, it's not mic level, but it's... I it's listened to Halloween music on the way to the football game this Friday. Wow. I've just gotten in the mood. Once you're in the mood, it's hard to get out the of the mood. The fall mood struck me, and yeah. I just I had to do it. All right. With my next pick, I'm going to go apple picking. You yeah. go out, go apple picking, get some nice apples. You know, you can get apple cider. You can get a bunch of apples make that apple pie as my previous pick. A lot of things you can do with apples, just going out there, enjoying the nice cool weather, maybe have a flannel on. Yep. It's a solid pick. It's a solid pick. Well, that concludes our draft. That concludes the draft. You can uh, tell us in the hallways who won. Yeah, tell us in the hallway. We don't need e- emails for this one. If you want to be a guest, shoot us an email. Shoot us an email. All yeah, right. That concludes. So, yeah, tell us in the hallway as I'm walking by. Just be like, Adam, you won. Right? Because yeah. I did, for sure. Um, I placed Adam with Anthony, but um, let's go on. You know, we had some uh, pretty good uh, sports uh, just happened. Um, cross country. Congratulations. We had the Midwest Catholic Championship this uh, past Saturday. Uh, Jacob Reese secured uh, first place, uh, Charles Rizik third, so congrats to those two. Yep. Uh, outstanding job. Congratulations to the following boys golfers this past Saturday in the St. Charles Invitational. Vaughn Harbor got first place and Joe Koig got second place. Volleyball team, uh, they secured a win uh, Saturday as well in uh, Perrysburg uh, Invitational against Wapakoneta. Yep. I guess we'll Good luck to Varsity Boys Golf tonight against Bishop Watterson. It's their senior night. That starts at 4 p.m. Good luck tonight, our girls volleyball team. Uh, they're playing Hartley again. Uh, swept last episode, but um, I'm expecting a different outcome. I'm expecting a different outcome as well. Good luck to the Varsity Girls Tennis tomorrow at Westville South. That's a 4 p.m. start. Good luck to the boys' soccer team at Pick North. Uh, that's 7:15. And of course, good luck to the varsity football team against Dover. It's a gold out to support pediatric cancer. So remember, yeah. wear your best gold. Make sure you buy that band too. Two dollars uh, goes to a good cause. You get a dress down too. So win-win. And then finally, good luck to our cross country team this Saturday at Olentangy Berlin High School. All right, and that's it. Thank Sorry. you all for tuning in to episode two of the Stallion Pride Podcast. It's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. That's a wrap.